The Bay of Fundy produces the highest tides in the world, and that's what makes using them as a clean energy source so attractive. It's also what attracts a wide array of marine life, making up a unique ecosystem. There's a huge amount of water flow that's coming in and out of the Bay of Fundy. Concerned about impact turbines might have on the fishery, the Bay of Fundy Inshore Fishermen's Association tried to get an injunction to prevent two test turbines from going into the Minas Basin. It's failed, with the Nova Scotia Supreme Court judge ruling there's no evidence to suggest irreparable harm by putting the turbines in the water from now until next February. All Cape Sharp title needs now is fair weather for the installation. Many residents of Parsborough I spoke with are excited about the new opportunity. There's been 110 studies done by force at a cost of about $15 million. I think this project is going to be well monitored. If anything does happen to the environment, they're going to shut it down very quickly. Everything's just hearsay. It, it, time will tell. A study commissioned by the Offshore Energy Research Association suggests the tidal energy industry could contribute up to $1.7 billion to Nova Scotia's GDP by 2040. For the Weather Network, I'm Nathan Coleman in Parsboro.